Welcome to my introduction to networking course, typically abbreviated ITN. This will be for the CCNA version 7 curriculum. Hello and welcome. This is for ITN 7.2. This is Packet Tracer 13.3.1. Using ICMP to test and correct network configuration or connectivity. So, here is our network diagram. On top of that, we have our guide. So, I already have the guide off to the side of my screen. So, it's not sitting on my screen. So, the objective is use this lab. You'll use ICMP to test network connectivity and locate network problems. Also correct simple configuration issues. Use ICMP to do this. Wait till all the green lights are, are turned on. All the green triangles are on, so we're good. Select a host and use ICMP to determine which hosts are reachable from what. If a host is found to be unreachable, use ICMP to locate the general location of the network error and go through it. All right, so first thing I want to do is I see IPv4 network, IPv4 network, to IPv6 networks. All right, so I'm going to tackle this into two different groups. PC1. I want to go ahead and ping. PC4. No, actually, can I ping laptop A? Ping 10101.20. All right, I can go from here to here. I want to stay within IPv4 networks, so that's what I'm going to do IPv4 to IPv4. Now I'm going to ping PC4. 10.10.5.10 All right, I cannot communicate with PC4. What about server 1? Also not working. All right, all right. So both of those are attached to PTR TAC three. So can I ping the default gateway over here? I just want to back up one step. Which P or sorry RTR three gig zero 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 would be five dot one. All right, so I can go from this network all the way through to the router, and I can hit this interface. So that tells me PC4 and server 1 might have an issue. So let's connect to PC4. Command prompt, IP config. Oh, well, I know that the default router address is actually... 10.10.5.1, not 5.11. So that's, we need to fix that. So let's see if that fixes our problem for PC4. Okay, default gateway address. That was the issue for communicating PC1 to PC4. Now let's look at server one. Uh -huh. Command prompt, IP config. Oh. Weird, we do not get an IPv4 address and we don't get a default gateway. So it is set to DHCP more than likely. 
and we need to assign it a static address. So this is server one. Server one is 10.10.5.2 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 default gateway 10.10.5.1 no DNS settings reported so let's see if we can communicate with the server now Okay. Still no, that's all right. Let's double check. Five or ten, ten, five. Oh, dot twenty. I fat fingered that. Two five five, two five five dot zero. Perfect. Let's double check to make sure that it's showing the correct one now. Yep, there it goes. Addressing is the hard part because, again, it's easy to fat finger. 10.10.5.20. Timed out. Did an ARP request. All right. And then the other three finally kicked in. So we do now get all four echo re uh, responses back. We now have completed 71% of this. So we found an issue with server one being set to the DHCP with the wrong address. We found an issue with PC4 being misconfigured. I happen to know that there was only a few issues with IPv4, that's why we started with them. And then from there, we will move forward. So we should look at IPv6. So let's start with what information do we have? So let's I'll start with R3. Enable show IP v6 and brief. R3, RTR TAC3. So we're looking at IPv6 addresses. Gig001 should be 2001, DB851. Gig01, 2001, DB8 should be 5.1, not 6.1. So that's an address, that's an issue. Let's double check serial 010, that should be 2001, DB83.2, and that is. So right now, that's the primary issue. Oh, can't copy, so that's fun. So we need to go ahead and correct that. So conf t. Interface gig zero slash zero slash one no IP v six address two thousand one D B eight I don't know why I did dot these are colons IP v six D B eight colon six colon colon one And that would be a slash 64. We do want to add this as a 5. Completion is now 100%. That was our error. We could double check all the other ones. Enable, show IPv6, int brief and all of those line back up to the address chart 
the gig zero zero, zero zero one, zero zero one one for RTR. So there we go, there we go. There we go. They're using the, the GUI address, the 2001 address, not the FE80 addresses, but they are lining up. Enable, show IPv6 and brief. This is RTR2, 2001 DB8 colon colon one, 2008, or 2001 db8 colon one colon colon one and the next one is 2001 db8 two colon colon one bam there we go so those are all correct all right so what were our issues pc4 had the wrong default gateway server one was set the dhcp instead of static address and router three had the wrong IPv6 address. Let's check our results. And those were the only items that were needing to be addressed. When you're troubleshooting, it's not gonna be this simple. You may have to do hop by hop by hop. You may have to do a combination of IPv4 and IPv6. You aren't always going to know the amount of errors, this one I knew there was just three errors, so that kind of helped me out, but you never know. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out. Again, with this material, being able to ask questions and discuss some of the topics in the lecture help build long-term retention, so do not be afraid to communicate with this topic. Again, I'm here if you need anything. Thank you.